Yo, what is going on guys? Episode number 8 of the Deka Street. Huge shout out to Hut Puck Traders for a very fast and reliable service. In this episode, we're deciding to open some packs. As you can see, we pull a Johan Franzen, an alright player, 86, not going to complain. But again, nothing too amazing. But we decided to open some packs because, really, I think the series is, I mean, I still think it's pretty enjoyable for people. Obviously, for me, I want it to be the best it can be. And I know you guys love packs, so I'm going to try to open some more packs. I've been spending a lot of my coins, so I don't really have any coins to upgrade my team. And I've also been spending some money here and there. Nothing too crazy, though. I don't think I've spent more than $20 per episode, if that. And so most of the times, it's like $10 and then like $30,000, 40000 maybe even like fifty, sixty thousand 60000 pucks. This pack, we do pull a Backstrom, so that is a huge pull. And he's going to go on our team. I was going to sell him, but he was really good last year. So we're going to give him another shot, and he's going to go right on our team. we got a Pavlik as well, but... Probably not going to be our goalie, knowing that we have Varlamov. <laughs> We're going to open another pack. And this one, I mean, it's very frustrating. I mean, again, like last year, we pull a bunch of non-rare players, non-rare gold players. But, I mean, luckily this year, most of the players are a lot higher overall. And then in the corner of my eye, I see a Chris Letang. So that is another really good pull. We already have him on our team, so we're going to sell him and open another pack. This one, we got our Halmerson and a Klo. And then a bunch of non-rare gold players. And then at the end of the pack, there are, I believe, we have one jersey. And that would be it there. But again, guys, I'm opening these packs. I know you guys may not want to see as many packs, more gameplays. But I feel gameplays have kind of gotten a bit stale. I mean, this episode, they're actually a bit different. But from the um, like recent gameplays, i kind of just been destroying people and just going breakaway goals and stuff like that. I think the first two episodes, I had some nice goals. And then the next few, I had a bunch of just breakaways and, like, dominating games. This game, this episode definitely has a lot more close games and entertaining games. As well as some other stuff going on in these episodes, which I hope, hopefully you guys will enjoy. Which will be coming up right after this pack opening. But as you can see, we've definitely got some pretty good stuff in these packs all together. I definitely think it was worth it. Spent probably about $12 or so. This is in the beginning, I believe, on packs. And we got a Backstrom, a Latang, and stuff like that. So it was definitely worth the $12 we spent. But anyway, we decided to try to work the market, buy some players for cheaper than what they're going for, and then sell them for what they're, what I think I can get out of them. We get a Steen for 9k. We end up selling them for 11. We get a Camillary for 3. We end up selling them for 5. A Hopkins for 4 point something. We end up selling them for 5.6. Another Hopkins for 3.5. We end up selling them for 6.4. And we get another, we get a Chris Letang, we go to the hour mark, 59 minute mark, we get him for 24k, we end up selling him for 33k, and last one is a Marion Gabrick for 21k, and we're not going to sell him, he's going to go straight to the Deka Street. We should take a walk someday Dream about what we could have been But I don't wanna leave this place There's no faith in Brooklyn Yeah so If I move out one day It will make me a better man Without your meal But I don't wanna leave this place it's sorry, it's sorry. No faith in Brooklyn yeah. I said I'm so gone Oh my God, where the menu? Order me all your sushi for them bitches at the venue Stop, drop, roll, continue Cause they just try to mingle And I'm just trying to sing you a song that I'm leaving, but I won't be long If it was up to me, I would see you tomorrow But talk's cheap, so I'm paying up New kicks be the only way I'm laying up So maybe I won't make it as an athlete But that don't mean to let the competition pass me A money ball, Billy Bean, and some skinny jeans And the whole damn team, just some mini-me's Cause they ain't seen another kid like this It's on your mind, baby, you should probably write this I told her I could dance good for a white kid So turn around, show me everything I might miss we should take a walk someday Dream about what we could have been But I don't wanna leave this place There's no faith in Brooklyn so If I move out one day It will make me a better man But I don't wanna leave this place There's no faith in Brooklyn I said repetition, rep repetition like a muscle man You just wanna tie me up, snap me like a rubber band so I decided to bring Marion Gabrick and Nicholas Backstrom into the team. Going into the first game against a Ranger fan, Marion Gabrick gets some revenge, goes up 1-0. Really easy goal, really early goal, I meant to say early, 
but Easy goes with it as well, and the kid does not quit. He, I scored in like 30 seconds, so he could have quit and got the uh, not loss. But anyway, he does come back. Pretty bad defense on my part for sure. But with about eight minutes left in the second period, Raymond pulls up, gives it rebound. Well, not rebound, goes right back to Raymond. Excuse me. I don't know why I said rebound. But again, we score a pretty nice goal, and that would be the end of this game. Not too many goals for, but also pretty good defense and pretty good goaltending by Varlamov, who gets another win for our team. And our captain, Ryan Getzlaff, is going to greet him. And we're going to move into the next game against a Montreal fan who actually has a pretty good record. A lot of the guys we've been playing have had average records. Most people, like for example, have had like a 30 and 25 record and stuff like this. So this guy's actually pretty good. We've obviously played some good people, but not too many great ones. And this guy, I would say, is pretty good. With two seconds left, we try to come in and get something. Nothing does happen, sadly. And it was definitely a pretty close game. I think I was definitely outplaying him a bit. I think the shots were right about now. Shots were 5-2, to two. we had 3 minutes time on attack to not even a minute, so we were definitely out playing him, and then it says waiting for user, this has happened to me once before, I outweighed him this time, it only took him like 2 minutes and then he quit, so I got the win luckily, I was out playing him, I think I deserved that win, so we get another win, and this is basically their team just showing it off real quick, I haven't showed it that much, but that's their team, if you guys want to pause the video and look at that, go ahead, and we go against a Canadian I'm guessing he's a Canadian. He does score one nothing early in the third period to give him a one nothing lead. We try coming back. Nothing goes on there. With only 10 seconds left, we're trying as hard as we can to tie this game up. Goals have not come easy for us. And with three seconds left, he's in our zone, and that's going to be the end of the game. A one nothing loss. Pretty disappointing. But I can't do anything. Again, a lot of these games I've been losing. Very frustrating by one goal game, and I can't score the past few. Well. I mean, it's not been like the earlier games where I would win games like 6 nothing stuff like that. And we move into this next game, and it goes all the way to the shootout. Again, we couldn't score one goal this game. Pretty confident in shootouts. Bad attempt there. We do not score in our first attempt. So I was a bit worried because, I don't know, I was feeling like we couldn't score. We haven't been winning many games lately. But then we make this save, and at this point, I was like, okay, okay. He didn't score, but he's trying to go backhand, so he knows the secret that basically backhands are pretty OP. We have my boy Marion Gabrick up here to try to get us into this game, and he goes backhand, and at that point I was like, GG, no re, scoop that ice up, Dr. G. <laughs> but Marion Gabrick does score a pretty nice goal there. He comes on down, and yeah, he would score a backhand forehand goal. My goalie was completely out. Pretty frustrating at that point. I was like, oh my gosh. It's like, I gotta put this game away. I gotta make sure I score here. So we come up now with our captain, Ryan Getzlaff. And as you can see, this nice lag just put on us. And because that lag, I mean, I don't know. Like, no offense to him. I'm not saying he's a lag switch, but watch this. That lag. And then look at this. Perfect. No lag at all. He comes in. He goes backhand. He defeats me in a shootout. Very frustrating. No goals for in the regular game. Well, in the first three periods and look at that 15 shots to six not that a big advantage but nine minutes to four and a half ah very frustrating we get a loss we move into this next game against a whoever this guy likes but he does score one nothing early on luckily we finally get back scoring that goal was just awesome because we haven't scored in a while and then Gabrick with a nice little move and somehow that goes in that was a really nice move but that shot he took from that angle was not great at all but he does end up finishing it off and getting the 2-1 lead for us. And then we try to hit him. Nothing happens. We lose the puck there. And he just goes top shelf and he would tie the game. And then he gets the puck back. Gets another lucky play. And he would score and it's 3-2. At this point, I'm like, what is going on? Trying to just create some momentum here. Trying to tie the game. We do score bar down. Apparently, we hit their goalie and apparently no goal. And for sure, in fact, we do lose another game. At this point, I was just opening some packs after I sold a bunch of this stuff with actual coins. And we get a Barry, who's actually a really good defenseman, but I doubt he's going to make our team just right now. We, we may want to do a little bit revamping on this team, but I'm not sure when. But definitely a pretty good pickup, I guess, in a pack for a player-wise, not price-wise or stuff like that. We get a Parento here, and I thought we had him on our team, 
in our collection. Apparently we don't. I'm not sure if he's ever going to make our team. I think forward-wise, we're definitely a lot better than defense. Even though we have got some pretty high overalls on defense, I may want to change some of these guys up. Shattenkirk is good, but I'd like to get a bit faster of a defenseman, but he's just so hard to actually want to change because he's an 88 overall free player, so I can't actually sell him. This pack, we got a Huddler who's 85 overall, but... Eh, he's not going to fit our team as well. We're really looking for, I think, a right winger. I mean, Gabrick's definitely doing good on the uh, the first line, but I kind of want like a Zach Parise, even though I think he's just categorized as a left. I'm not even sure he's under this game, but I'm thinking he would be a good fit. It's like a Corey Perry would be a good fit. And then we go in this game against Islanders fan. We're really trying to get back. This guy's actually fairly good, almost a 2-1 to -one win ratio. We make a little nice move by St. Louis to get by two of his defensemen on the shorthanded rush, and we would score backhand bring it back memories from old episodes and then we're gonna throw it right in front and Gabrick again is gonna score this guy's been unreal I know some people don't really like him this year they don't think he's as good as last year but to me he's better than last year and he scores again right there to make it a three nothing game Claude Giroux old captain is gonna score and that is a four one four nothing game in the first period and beginning stages of the second period Voracek's just going to bomb it home, and it's 5 nothing. It felt so nice to score five goals. We get the win there. We go back this game. Same type of goal. Mike Camilleri is going to bomb it home to make it a one nothing game. And I was hoping to get another 5 nothing game, but obviously that was not going to happen. Five seconds left. He's just going to snipe it. Kind of frustrating those goals sort of go in. So I thought I was playing fairly good defense, but nope. That was just a bad defensive play by me. Not going to play Varlamov. But Yager does score to make it 2-1. Frustrated at that point, but we're going to get right back. And again, Marion Gabrick, maybe he should get the C. Maybe that one overall would help him, especially for how good he's been playing. I mean, Getzlaff hasn't really been scoring lately in this episode. And Giordano is just going to bomb it home, bar down. And that is a 3-2 game. And that would eventually be the game-winning goal. And Getzlaff is like, hey, I'm the captain here. Put the game away with the dagger. And it is a 4-2 game. And it is a 4-2 victory. And we end this episode off with some pretty nice movements and changes and stuff like that and wins, obviously. But if you guys enjoy this episode, please leave a like, and I will see you guys next time.